my queen, in silence sad, trip we after night's shade. We the globe can compass soon, swifter than the wandering moon. Come, my lord, and in our flight tell me how it came this night that I sleeping here was found with these mortals on the ground. <laughs> Rite of May, 
and hearing our intent, came here in grace of our solemnity. But speak, Aegeus, is not this the day that Hermia should give answer of her choice? Yes, it is, my lord. Go, bid the huntsmen wake them with their horn. <clears throat> Good morrow, friends. Saint Valentine is past. Begin these wood birds, but to couple now. Pardon, my lord. I pray you all stand up. I know you two are rival enemies. How comes this gentle concord in the world that hatred is so far from jealousy to sleep by hate and fear no enmity? My lord. I shall reply amazedly, half sleeping, half waking, but, but as yet I swear I cannot truly say how I came here. But, but now as I do think, for, for truly I would speak, I, I do bethink me, and so it is. I, I came with Hermia hither. Our intent was to be gone from Athens, where we might, without the peril of the Athenian law... Enough! Oh, enough, my lord, you have enough. I beg the law, the law upon his head. Though they would have stolen away, they would, Demetrius, thereby to have defeated you and me, you of your wife, and me of my consent. My consent that she should be your wife. My lord, fair Helen told me of their stealth, of this their purpose hither to this wood, and I in fury hither followed them, fair Helena and fancy following me. But I want not by what power, but... By some power it is my love to Hermia melted as the snow. Seems to me now like an idle god to my childhood I did dote upon. And all the faith, the virtue of my heart, the object and pleasure of mine eye is only Helena. To her, my lords, that betrothed, ere I saw Hermia, but like a sickness did I loathe this food, and as in health come to my natural taste. Now do I wish it, love it, long for it, and will evermore be true to it. Fair lovers, you are fortunately met. Of this discourse we more will hear anon. Aegeus, I shall overbear your will. For in the temple by and by with us these couples shall eternally be knit. And for the morning now is something worn, our purposed hunting shall be set aside. Away with us to Athens, three and three. We'll hold a feast in great solemnity. Come, Hippolyta. like far-off mountains turned to clouds. Because I see these things with parted eye when everything seems double, so <laughs> methinks. And I have found Demetrius like a jewel, mine own and not mine own. It seems that yet we sleep, we dream. Was the Duke here and bid us follow him? Nay, hey, and my father. <laughs> and Hippolyta. And he did bid us to the temple. Why, then we are awake. Let us go, and on our way recount our dreams. <laughs> He is transported. Oh, but if he come not, the play is marred. It goes not forward, does it? Oh, it is not possible. You have not a man in all Athens able to discharge Pyramus, but he... No, he has simply the best one of any handicraft man in Athens. Yea, and the best person, too. For he is a very paramour for a sweet voice. You must say paragon. Paramour is God blesses a thing of naught. <laughs> 